Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. I've got a new portable antenna here on my desk. It's from AliExpress. It's the Wukong 365. And more precisely, it's an antenna tuner and it comes with a telescopic whip. The whip is in this plastic tube here. Let me open it up and get it out. You can buy these tuners with a BNC connector and also a, a UHF connector. Mine has a BNC connector because I want to use it with this radio. Uh, here at the top is where you can screw the telescope on and you can also attach a wire antenna let me screw this on so you get an idea how it looks like. Here we go. This is very solid. It's a, a metal housing. It's very stable. It feels very good. Also the switches are and the uh, dial here is very precise. So this is, this is good quality. It's well built. Let's turn this around and have a look at the bottom. Here we have the description. It's the Wu Kong 365 antenna. <laughs> yeah, power rating is 20 watt. Weight is 170 grams. SWR should be uh, below or equal 1.5. And the length of the whip, I guess it is, is 150 centimeters. And here you have the frequency ranges. It's working from 3.5 to 30 megahertz, uh, 50 to 54. And then we have VHF and UHF as well. Okay, I have measured the length of the telescopic whip and it's 139 centimeters long. But with the tuner, the overall length is about 150 centimeters, a little bit below 149-ish centimeters. And once again here at the top we have the band selector and this fine tuning knob. This is labeled from 1 to 7 and the band selector is labeled 300, uh, 11, 10, 8, 7 and so on. Uh, that's outside of the circle. On, uh, at the inner side we have the labels Air, FM, 50 and U. Maybe that means UHF, I'm not sure. There is no description included. There is no manual. Let's find out how it fits on the radio. Okay, there is enough space to reach the, the knobs. Let's try another one. Here is my 6100. Yep, yep. That's it. Let me zoom out a bit. This is how it looks like. On the 6100 it maybe is better to use a 90 degree adapter. Okay, the next step is to go outside and measure the SWR on all bands using my rig expert antenna analyzer. And here we are. Welcome to Park Alpha Tango 0177. But I'm not here to activate. I'm here to measure the antenna. Uh, I guess it's hard to read the display. So you have to trust me when I read the values. Let's start on 10 meters, uh, enter the frequency 28500 and then I choose show SWR and the SWR is uh, 6.5, 6.4 at the moment. Let me switch this down, see what we get, 5.4, 3.7 
Uh, let's choose this position. Whoa, 1.7. 1, 1. That's nice. Let me see if we can get any uh, a better result. 1.8, 1.9, 2.5. Okay, so uh, on this position, position 11 and the knob uh, turned to all the way counterclockwise get an SWR reading of 1.7 on 10 meters. So next I'm on the 12 meter band the frequency is 24940 and it's the same setting for 12 meters. Let's try another one. No, that's worse. Let's choose the 10 position. No, 3.7, 3.8, 4.1, no. Let's go back to 11. And yeah, same position for the 12 meter band. An SWR of 1.7. Next band is 15 meters. I'm on 21225. And out of the box I got also 1.7 SWR. Let's see if we can make it better. No, that's worse. 1.7. Ooh, 8.3, 8.4. No. Uh, Nope, it's the same position as uh, on 12 and on 10 meters and the SWR reading is 1.7. Next I'm on 17 meters and out of the box at the same position an SWR of 1.7. Let's see, 1.6. Let's turn this a little bit more clockwise 1.4 1 1.5 1 1.6 1 1.4 1 1.47 maybe if i touch the the metal the connector i can lower it even more nope 1.4 1 1.48 on 1 1.47 on 17 meters. The next band is 20 meters and here I've got a reading of zero, uh, 1.02. Here we go. Out of the box uh, in the same position as on 17 meters. So I'm still on with the switch on position 11 and the minimum reading is uh, yeah 1.02 on on 20 meters let's go further down let's go to 40 meters so 0, 0, 007 100 and oh well, yeah that's bad swr let me choose another position Okay, on 40 meters and on 80 meters, of course, this antenna will become more and more a dummy load. Let's switch to another position. 3.0. Maybe I can brighten the display a little bit. Mm, 2.4, 2.5. Let's choose another one. Oh, yeah, here we go. 1.8, 1.7, 1.6. 1.7, 1.6-ish, if I touch the, the connector, I can lower it even more. 1.45, 1 1.43, Let's try 80 meters. Uh, 0, 0, 3, 6, 5, 0. That's the middle of the band. And of course, 
we've got a bad reading here. Oops, here we go. Nope. 17. 4.5.6. Let's choose another position. Uh, let's see what we are getting here. Nope, that's the wrong direction. Uh, 18, 12, 10 point something. Let's choose this one. Uh, that's uh, infinite. Let's choose this one. Hey, come on. I want to see the display. Six. Nope. Nope. Um, yeah. No way. Here we have 4.0. This it's very hard to go below. Well, now we have 3.1 when I touch the connector again. 3.1. Maybe I can lower this a little bit more. 2.6. 2.9. Yeah, you got the idea. But uh, on 80 meters, this is more or less uh, a dummy load. Okay, folks, that's it for the moment. In one of my next videos, I will try this antenna in a real-life scenario. Uh, with my Albrecht radio. Thanks so much for watching. 7-3.